Hi, my name is Elias Logan. I'm an expert and dealer in authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com where you have access to a wealth of information along with 6,800 items to purchase at the time of the making of this film. Let me show you a little bit of what you get. Every item myself comes with a beautiful professionally done certificate of authenticity, a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, and of course my signature. I've identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. And the coin, by the way, this is a silver Roman coin of Emperor Augustus, by the way, comes in a beautiful professional numismatic flip. This flip, you could look at the coin without having to touch it physically, so it prepares spares that wear and tear that you would get normally if you just had it without a beautiful uh, case like this. This, you could, this part you could take off and carry out with you, show to your friends. It has a number and a short description that matches the certificate that it comes from. The certificate comes with a professionally done description many times, citing a major numismatic reference or collection. And on the back, you get the historical context of the item you purchased. So, whether you're brand new to the collecting field, or if you would like to make to the best of my belief a fantastic investment that's going to gain value over time, you may want to check out my site, TrustedCoins.com. Today, I'm going to be reading the biography of Roman Empress Julia Domna. Julia Domna looked like this. She had a very, very big effect on ancient Roman history. She was the wife of Roman Emperor Septimius Severus. I have many coins of her with many beautiful, wondrous reverses, including Venus, you know, the goddess of love, on the back. So, check out my site, trustedcoins.com, for her coins, her authentic coins of empresses and emperors. So, to begin, Julia Domna was a member of the Severan dynasty of the Roman Empire. Empress and wife of Roman Emperor Lucius Septimius Severus, whom I have coins of, and mother of Emperors Geta and Caracal, whom I also have coins of, Julia was among the most important women ever to exercise power behind the throne in the Roman Empire. Julia was from Syrian family, though to be of, thought to be of Arab descent of the city of Emesa. She was the youngest daughter of the high priest Gaius Julius Bassianus, and her eldest sister was Julia Maesa. Her ancestors were priest kings of the famous temple of Baal. The family had enormous wealth and was promoted to Roman senatorial aristocracy. In the late 180s, Julia married future emperor Septimius Severus, usually considered to be of Punic background. The marriage proved to be a happy one, and Severus cherished his wife and, and her political opinions, since she was very well read and keen on philosophy. Together, they had two sons, Lucius Septimius Bassianus Caracalla in 188 and Publius Septimius Geta in 189. When Severus became emperor in 193, he had a civil war waiting, waiting for him against rivals such as Pesanius Niger and Claudius Albinus. Julia accompanied him in his campaigns in the East, an uncommon event in a time when women were expected to wait in Rome for their husbands. Nevertheless, she remained with the emperor and among the several proofs of affection and favor are the minting of coins with her portrait and the title Mater Castrorum, mother of the camp. As empress, Julia was often involved in intrigues and had plenty of political enemies who accused her of treason and adultery. None of these accusations were proven. Severus continued to favor his wife and insisted on her company in the campaign against the Britons that started in 208 AD. When Severus died in 211 AD in New York, Julia became the mediator between her, her two sons, their two sons, Caracalla and Geta, who were, who were to rule as joint emperors according to his father's wishes expressed in his will. But the two young men were never fond of each other and quarreled frequently. Geta was murdered by Caracalla's soldiers in the same year. Caracalla was now sole emperor but his relations with his mother were difficult. 
probably due to his involvement in Geta's murder. Nevertheless, Julia accompanied Caracalla in his campaign against the Parthian Empire in 217 AD. During this trip, Caracalla was assassinated and succeeded briefly by Macrinus, whom I have coins of too. On hearing about the rebellion, Julia chose to commit suicide. Her body was brought to Rome and placed in a separate chamber in the Mausoleum of Augustus. However, later, both her bones and those of Geta were transferred by her sister Julia Maesa to the Mausoleum of Hadrian. She was later deified. So visit my site TrustedCoins.com for ancient coins of Julia Domna, other empresses and emperors. TrustedCoins.com. Thank you.